try to keep up. This will not be a quick death. Right. I'm gonna try to do this even in a very specific way. My problem here probably is that because we have a sizable party, things are gonna get a little bit convoluted here. Uh, but I'm going to see if I can just like basically make Dorn immune to magic and have him see us through here. Could last for a long time. No magic is in effect now. This will not be a quick death. The reason I want this shield is because this is basically filled with mages. Come on, just kill the wolf. There are some monsters, also quite a lot of traps. So this shield will also take from the traps. Andres. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. I sensed ripples, and there you are. But you are something new. Tell me, friend, how come you to this place? <sighs> mm. Probably the same way you did. Why don't you tell me your story and see if it's the same as mine? You are just the latest teleport teleporting fool to be captured. This place seems a magnet of sorts. If you are powerful enough to transport without error across an ocean, you are apparently of sufficient power to be caught and dragged here. It is the very place that does it. it seems to ensnare the energy. Needless to say, leaving the island by magical means seems entirely impossible. You will get used to seabird eggs if you wish to survive. Who constructed such a place? What is its purpose? I don't know an answer to either question. It could be a joke of the gods or this, or both. It is hard to tell with gods. It could be a natural phen phenomenon, though these tunnels certainly are not. Cat mages may have fashioned them for shelter, however. There is little else to do here except plot, study, or go mad. I prefer to plot. On that note, if you would be so kind as to strip down and give me what you are carrying, I would be ever so grateful. But why? Certainly we can come to some agreement. But why? I think I can overpower the pool of this place if I have enough magical energy. You may have items, or your very being may yield fuel. I care not which, and I am through talking. Hmm. Will not be a quick death. Yeah, they're not going to be able to affect me. Well, uh, what I fear is that they will attack the people I've already moved outside. What he's trying to do is totally hopeless. Not a bad choice. Coming to reinforcements.
Yeah, he he won't survive now. Someone else can come and fix this. Uh, all of this is rubbish. I don't give a crap about it. This might be useful. It's not. Andres's journal. The journal of Andres de Op Iriabor. Would that I had more paper to write upon, but much was burned in haste for warmth. Little there is to document anyway, and so I leave this small writ for any that might find my corpse, for that is the only way it shall be shall part from me. Know that Adris does curse you for your life, and that uh, should I return in some fell form, I will hunt you for the sheer spite of you seeing my decimated body. The business of that aside, I hope that you who read this have suffered the same fate as I. The indignity of this condition. With all the power at my fingers, I must huddle around a dung fire eating seal fat. The forces behind this place have no respect for my stature, my power. I have slain beasts thrice my size with a glance and traveled as a bird over oceans. Here my magic is sucked to the earth and I am held as others are. Some have escaped and I swear I shall hunt them and take the power they must have. To do what I cannot, they must be great indeed. I curse them for leaving. I curse this place, and I curse that I have not the might to follow. Well, he's taking it for well. I think we can move I up understand. our position a little bit. Try to keep up. Probably immune to most of the spells they have here. So I can act as a battering ram for the rest of the group. Tell him. <laughs> Been here long. Long enough, though I can't say I've seen you before. By what name shall I call you, friend? Hmm. You may call me Kellen al Tulwar, the shining light of Tether, for once I was, once I was. And you I shall call Buttercup, because I can and shall. You have a way out of here, don't you? I smell it on you. I do, but it comes with a price. There's a cloak I need to find, and many here who would see me and my master did before they let it fall from their grubby hands. Follow me and be of some assistance in the battles, and mayhaps I'll let you come with me when I go. You would? Really? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. But you could. <laughs> No magic, though. I will save my magic in case you turn on me. But darts, yes. I'll cast my darts into their very eyes if it shall get me off of this pretty rock. This kill. No, no, no. Hello there. And you might be who? Another wayward spell slinger looking for a way out? Or just another power hungry fool trying to force the doors from the wrong side? Tell me, warrior, why is it that whatever you see is always in the last place you look? Uh, because you finally find it? Ha! <laughs> the common sense answer. In a place uncommon where sense does not rule the day. You are looking for something here, something of power and value. I'm sure I know just what it is, and for whom you seek it. I do not wish to relinquish it. What do you have to say to that? <sighs> I have a task, plain and simple. 
You can aid it or oppose it, but we will not ignore it. I ignore nothing here, and I see far more than you. I have been here long and have used my time effectively. Some fall or go mad, but I have learned. Do I understand this place? No, but I begin to. It stores what it brings for something long since forgotten. Perhaps when I remember it, I will master it. Perhaps not. You are a, but an interloper, a messenger, and the power of someone else will remove you from afar. So do what you must. I can only gain in this. I win, I am released. I lose, I am released. Done though. Ah, give me that cloak, Buttercup, or I shall pluck your petals and watch you rot. Yeah, he's he's done for. Poison too. So what did you have? Darts. What did we fucking do? Your wish? Salute guides my hand. I think there are minor things besides what we've so faced here so far, but they're nothing of real work. So we're just gonna bail on this place. Traps, maybe some other mages, that sort of thing. Uh, no one can take a look. We have really very little to lose by taking, taking that initiative here. And with Dorn, we can easily escape. This is the exit. It's I understand. Out of the place. Read back to where we came from. Outside of there. Outside. And with the ward stone Try and the cloak, up. we should be able to just leave immediately. I want to refresh my memory about what's here. Catch out. Please don't kill me. Please, 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 please. Relax, fellow. We have no reason to harm you. Why are you here? You weren't sent to kill poor Ch Ch Chuchol. Uh, so you are Chuchol. In truth, we... no, no, no. We're me here, Lee, mere to retrieve an item. We'll be on our way... Uh, we'll be on our way as soon as we can find it. Are you not trapped here? I, Chuchol, the Scourge of Lackham, the Ravager of Zerk, even with my fell power, uh, powers, I cannot escape. We have our ways. Have you seen a cloak, perhaps? A ward! Of course! My friends, I have been trapped here for too long. I think of my reputation. True to all they say, what kind of mystical magic man are you? Then I'll say, it's not my fault, it's that stupid eyes. Then they'll say, you're a loser, Chucho. A real fool. If you catch my drift. Can't you see? My reputation. I must have that ward. I must escape. Uh, we can't help you. We need to leave this place ourselves. Uh, 
but it's so gold. Don't you see? It's gold. Why does Sujo bother with these riches? Very well, I must have the war. It'll be realistically quick though. Another one of paralysis. Okay. Another one. Garen. Newcomers, stuck where you are. I have questions to pose you, and you will answer them swiftly and accurately, or you will be killed. I will warn you now that I possess powerful magics, and will be able to discern almost any lie that you try to tell. I don't think so. Clerics usually have that type of magic. Not mages. But he could, possibly. Who are you exactly, and what are you doing on an ice island in the middle of an ocean? I'm Garen, and have been trapped on this infernal island ever since I tried to teleport from Mastika to Waterdeep. But it is not you who should be asking the questions. You have not answered my question yet. Answer now or suffer the consequences. What were you doing in Mastika? I told you that I asked the questions. Your stupidity will cost you dearly. Oh, he actually had support. That's a, that's a serious business. I don't think I can do much about those. Well, there's too many of them. Anything else? Uh, bears. Bulls. That's more or less it. Right. Prevailing on this. Oh shit. Serious business here. Dramatic exit. It shall be even bloodier than you hoped. This skill scroll. Scribble, 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 as every mage must do. This wolf will hold your power fast unless I walk right through. The boat I bade from birch and bark, what burned I did at morn. Rather I gather in this failed spot than suffer my hands get worn. The fools, this place has and many more to come. I will greed and take what will, and in the end, uh, will I have all? Oh, I think so. I mock your prison, Ao, as though you would take care to listen. Are you even behind the walls? I see your symbols in the sky, but others too. Mistra, goddess of magic, my magical maiden, why do you treat your children so? You give the sparkle of magic only so it cannot be used? A lesson in humility for those on the verge of true power? Drop your robes and wands and stains, or forever be trapped with your self-importance and pride. Perhaps, but I will not shed what I have earned just to walk the skies again. I shall profit, profit from this. I will play outside your rules. This place will bring it all to me in time, though I can't take it elsewhere. No, you can't take it with you. But you can stay with it and hold it tight. Perhaps with outside help? Ah, none but those who have learned can find this place again, and they will not interrupt the teaching. I will not bend, I will snap and strike back in time. 
humility is so humiliating. Now, I will not suffer more. Power impotent is still preferable to power lost. Of course, perhaps the walls do not listen to such musings, and my writing is pointless. No matter, for tomorrow I shall wipe this clean and write anew. My verse gets better. One must have hobbies. Yep. What do you need? Mm -hmm. You return. Excellent. And you are little the worse for wear, in a relative sense. An excellent measure of your worth, I think. You have proven yourself quite capable. I will just relieve you of that item and be on my way. What was that place? There are people still trapped on that island. It is an odd place to be sure. Teleportations are affected most drastically, in effect trapping the occasional passing mage. Those that are there will find their way off in time. Those that are not there anymore have found their own way up. I think you will agree that the ones that you met were not inclined to work together and effect their own release. An excellent judge of character in a supposedly natural phenomenon, wouldn't you say? I must be up. Very you will. 500 experience points. Yeah. Just a minor side activity. And more paralysis ones. Ah, how many do we have now? Uh, number 5, I think. Right. Yeah, we're gonna start. We're gonna start wasting them. I don't really need stone skin. Good to have it though. We might as well go on to new things immediately. That was a fairly short adventure. The werewolf island isn't all that great long either, as I suppose I should go there. Gerlax mm. Tower is a bit more involved. Uh, it depends on what you're gonna do in the werewolf tower. I mean, werewolf island though. You're just gonna do what you're supposed to do, it's fairly harmless. You want some whiskey? Or rather, fairly short. There are a couple of side activities, but I'm not sure if they're worth bothering with. We're more or less at the halfway point as far as experience points are concerned. Uh, Bayloth has succeeded that. Mira will. Definitely level up soon, so will Melas. And that's pretty much it. It shall be even bloodier than you hoped. Terella. What's your tale? Greetings, adventurers. You must excuse me if I have nary a happy word to share this day. There has been a loss in the family, you see. Anything I can do to help? Unless you wish to search for my errant son, then no. Tell us the tale and we might be able to help. I have, or perhaps I should ha say, had a son named Dalton. Dalton. He fell in with a crew of adventurers from Waterdeep. Dalton was always obsessed with the idea of being a hero. Alas, he has neither the brains nor the ability. Such is a mother's lot in life, however, to watch her children perform acts of idiocy despite her warnings or concerns. My poor boy took the, those acts of idiocy to the extreme, and his thick-skulled cohorts took it upon themselves to plumb the depths of Durlach's tower. They bought a war token from the shyster, Gorkin, and made ready to leave. Though I begged and cried, Dalton still insisted on going. The band never returned. I feared that they were destroyed by the mad dwarf's machinations. That is the tale, sad but true. Hmm. You'll find your son if he still lives. Thank you so much. Such kindness from strangers is unheard of in this harsh life. I will await Dalton's return with breathless anticipation. Yeah. 
Who are you? Blast it thrice over. I am through with it, I am so. Tis no living left here, none. How? What do you want, I ask you? Say quick now. I call soon and not open for customers who not come. Uh, you seem troubled. Yeah, you all nice now, but no gold, right? The same old thing every day. Might do same sometimes. Nice, nice people come look and look and say nice, nice and leave. I lose patience for the nice to look at, pretty to hold, but don't buy a suffering thing. You hear buy or you just nice and leave? Exactly the deal in. I sell the small at shinies for the tourists in Derlax Tower, but there are none now here. None now there. Bandits on the road keep the people up and away, so I'm stuck with all this stuck I am. Four tokens I have of all shapes and sizes. Some I, I found by Elven Ruin, and some I made myself I made. Maybe some good, or maybe all bad, but don't they all look pretty? I tell you what I will. I'll sell you everything I have you buy, for low, low price of 500 gold is all. And I go home where they appreciate a bubble shine. Buy or no and walk to walk walk to walk. Yeah, sure. You have a deal and done. Good and done. Now take it all and get out so I can pack and go. It's enough of my time in this place gone and lost for me. And you drop my more valuable items. What the fuck is this? No more short sword. I do have that. Where the hell did that come from? Alright, the war tokens. Ah, uh, one of them might actually be worth something. I need to sell some of this away. Might as well rest again to restore my casting. Portstone Portery. Dwarven Rune Wardstone. Just need to remove the item from his inventory so I don't mix it with the real one. Right. Fell excess crap, rest, and then let's go annoy some werewolves. I can't sell the forgery for some reason. Try to keep right. up. The werewolf islands should have uh, quite a few small things you can do. They're sort of worthless and a waste of time. Away with you, beggar! Good day, I'm Fenris Bolan. Is there something you need? Uh, Pleased to meet you. Have you gone on the tour to Durla of Durlax Tower? Indeed I have. It was a wonderful tour, although somewhat steep in price. What do you ask? Perhaps you are entertaining thoughts of following in my footsteps? 
we thought you might find the time to share some of your knowledge of the tower and the tour. <laughs> the tale of that ill-fated tower is a fascinating one. Her like troll killer, a great dwarven hero, built the tower over a long and successful career. Her like amassed a great hoard of treasure. Rumors spoke of rooms full of gems and a great hall strewn with dusty heaps of cold coins. With the aid of hired dwarves, Durlak dug many chambers and passages in the tower and raised a lone tower above it, planning it as a seat where he could found a dwarven community and grow all in peace, surrounded by happy, prosperous kin. Instead, double gangers, organized and aided by foul mind players, slew and impersonated Durlak's companions. After the shocked dwarf discovered the first impersonation, he was attacked by all the others and spent a terror-filled ten day frantically fighting through his own fortress, chased by monsters who wore familiar forms but sought his death. In the end, alone and victorious, he was powerless to stop the fleeing illithids. Fearful to age return, Durlak hired the finest craft work he could find and began to rebuild his tower and the tower beneath as an elaborate succession of traps, magical wards, secret passages, sliding prison chambers, and triggered weapons. For several centuries, things went on like this, as the increasingly eccentric Durlak lived on fungi and it is cruelly whispered the bodies of intruders. At length, he died, and presumably his bones still lie in some inner room guarded by thousands of deadly traps. After having seen the first few rooms of the tower myself, I can say that it must be as dangerous as the legends portend. It is a fascinating place to visit, and I strongly recommend that you take the tour. I must be off now. Very well, and enjoy your tour. Bye. Uh, do I need to talk to someone special to... get the task. I must be speaking to you. Listen, please. But, um, hello, friends. It is a pleasure meeting you. You are heroes of Four Sword Coast. I, uh, long wait to meet you. I am Mendas of Waterdeep, quester of small truth in this land. We, that is, I am in need of favor from you. I have a money for pay and a big heart for friendship. Can you help a gentle fellow in search for knowledge? Hmm. I'll help you. Tragic things are happening in this unfair earth. How do you say, world? The men with power, they hurt the men with none. They destroy things that teach us better life. I tell you true, it would be better if these men are not born. This merchant's league, these bad men, they bind the island to the west. The island has a broken ship, a uh, uh, shipwreck, very old shipwreck, they say. Go on. The Merchant's League sailors see markings on the ship. The shipwreck hero is Bolderan's. These men think they think that Bolderan had much treasure on his final voyage. Maybe this is true, but ship also has many artifacts. These things hold knowledge of Bolderan's fate. I wish to recover the ship's logbook. I will solve mystery of Bolderan's final voyage. Merchant's League will destroy my artifact to get treasure. This must not happen. If you help me, I give things precious to me. You get treasure. Merchant men get nothing. You will help, yes? Yes. Right. You are clearly working towards a noble end. I will help you. I charge her both forthwith. There is small problem, though. These men that fight island, they keep the sea charts locked up in Baldur's Gate. 
There is a building in northeast of the city called Merchants League Counting House. To find it, just go northeast from Elbsong Tavern. There are sea charts. They are in there. Most likely, captain of ship will have them. I don't know such things as charts retrieval, but you are a hero, so it is no problem for heroes. There might be small danger, so I give you some gold for the charts. I will wait for you here. So, let's do it. I think I can do this, uh... Chart try to keep up. at least. Try to keep up. Oh crap, Callahan. Hello mates, Callahan I be, scourge of fish and the seven seas. HCD before, new ye be. Yeah, I'm here to meet a gentleman scholar by the name of Mendas. Mendas, eh? He's a grim sword. Never a kind of word or a how's your aunt here. Um, I assume that you know him. Perhaps you could share your perceptions of the fellow. I I've known him for as long as he's been in the beard, but I remember better with your little golden palm. Uh, will twenty gold suffice? I it will. Mendas come to the beer this season past. For Wardold Swenson's place he did. He claimed it be from Waterdeep, but I know fellers from the City of Splendors, and they can speak the common tongue as good as I done. As well as I do, you mean. N nay, better. Wherever he's from, Mendes darn't uh, like to mix with us some common folk. He keeps to himself in his house for the most part. He lives for a few days every month, is all. Is all I've been knowing, I'm afraid. A bloody miracle worker ye be. Any thanks to ye, and may the fish find your bath most delectable. Uh, this is the least a lad could do. Good day to ye all. So Mendas is a liar. Mm. Merchant leaks. Map. Probably there's a marker in front of the house. Could be that one. Or is it on this map section? It shall be Counting even us. bloodier than you hoped. Um. Any chance of getting through this in a stealthy manner? Or at least so the entire party doesn't have to go there and hoped. fight? Stand away, citizen! It shall be even bloodier than you hoped. Stand and hold, citizen. What business do you have with the merchant's leave? Uh... Here to clear my debts. Debs? Of what sort? I acquired great dips while gambling at the National Fair. A visiting the League member was kind enough to put the bill. Now that sounds not convincing. Um, but I don't know what kind of a... I don't think these do personal passengers. It's a Tradesman League, they don't deal with passengers. He and Spice's purchase from Cartor. As you will, but I urge you to conduct your business swiftly as I have a little patience for your tone. Hello, me. Mm. Captain Tolar Kiras. Ah, I be almost ready for the souls, and who be bothering me now? Well, Captain. I've been sent to inquire if there's anything else you'll be needing before you set sail. Aye, 
ye be with the league then. A jack of town's hardest liquor would make for a fine departure, if ye'd be so kind. Old dead training brews, a vile swill at all do the trick. Ye can find the old cood hat, the blushing mermaid. Uh, can I go there? Yeah. Uh, are there C uh, charts an actual item? Or what? Uh, chaos, that says it's still. Fifth level. Uh, okay, it looks like the captain literally has to scroll a uh, chart. So we it might shall be even have to do some proper hope. work Try here. to keep up. Try I've to keep no up. interest in speaking. Hmm. It shall be even bloodier than you hoped. Okay, who the hell has to swill? De Trunnion. Ah, Hi, friend. So, Captain Kears is soon to sail I hear. Aye, but before he does, he's requested a bottle of your foulest will. My foulest will, is it? He always asks for more, but he'll never thank you for what he's had. His crew drowned themselves in a dozen cakes of the foulest will, and I've seen nearly a coin for the brewing of it. How much does he owe you? Nine hundred golds at last count. Oh. If you don't mind the proposal, I'll trade a you a jack of my finest if you would be so kind as to relieve me of this debt. Do you mean pay 900 gold for a bottle of Screech? Better Steve, don't you think? You're right. This madness to even ask. Perhaps I can still convince the Merchants League to cover it. Ah, you have too much faith in the League, my friend. Here, allow me to pay you the captain's 900 gold and be done with it. You are a godsend. Allow me to give you the jug of the Trainian's Baylor Ale in gratitude. I brew it with pimento shipped from Kalanshan to give it that little extra kick. It shall be even bloodier. I don't want to go on a killing spree because of the map. Mm. And I have no real skill, so I can't pocket it or anything. Try to keep up. Try to keep up. Try to keep up. Ah, there be the good stuff to put a sting in your eyes. The Trainian's old bay rail. Cheers to the Merchant's League for all their many kindnesses. Cheers to the Merchant's League. Aye, that be the stuff. Be a good boy and hold the sea charge for me. I am feeling a bit woozy. The sea charts that you have obtained from the Merchant's League Counting House for many tasks. It shall be even bloodier than you hoped. Try to keep up. It shall be even bloodier than you hoped. Hmm. Right right <sighs> I think I'll leave it here when we actually get to our destination. Just talking to people takes quite a bit of time if you just read the dialogue out, 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 out aloud. The tasks you have to do are fairly simple and sh We shall hold here. You look tired. 
Yeah, we really should rest, but I think we're going to be tired anyway. Casting spells you know isn't happens. as easy as I make it look. I'm tired. Wonderful, my friends. I copy charts now. If you are ready, I hire both for your journey. Here is the money I owe you, 2,000 gold. I'm ready, first of all. I hire both at the docks here in Ulgar's beard. I meet you there soon. My training did not prepare me for such extended activity. All is ready, friends. I pay for both and I give a copy of sea charts to you. I have brought both to use. It has food and water for journey. Everything is ready. You go now. We'll leave immediately. Most excellent heroes. May gods grant you speedy journey. I will await your return at my house here in Ugrot's beard. Go well. Your ship sets its sails against the morning light, and you are off across the waves. The Sea of Swords allows your passage without incident, and in a scant amount of time, you are on to truly open waters. A score or more of days pass, but the aptly named trackless sea seems to stretch before you without end. The waters are calm, though the wind remains steady and sure. The merchant vessel your employer has chartered is a fine ship, but her crew is not accustomed to journeys so far off the established trade routes. The more superstitious among them speak of a great waterfall off the edge of Faroon, of a secret elven nation that scuttles all that dare come near, or even of island-sized turtles that eat whole ships. Such fancy weighs heavily on the minds of nervous sailors, and the mood aboard ship slowly turns. Tensions begin to mount, and rumors of mutiny threaten your resolve. It is a mixed blessing that all aboard are soon given a very real danger to occupy their thoughts. The storm comes without warning and hits with a fury that seems almost deliberate. Gale force winds toss the ship about like a cork and it is all the crew can do to keep her afloat. Their efforts, though valiant, are ultimately futile. And when the main mast splitters, you know the ship is lost. As the hull gives way, there is a glimpse of something in the distance. A steady illumination against the black of night. Grasping debris for flotation, you abandon the wreck and begin to swim under the heavy burden of your equipment. You head towards the glow, hoping it is not a sea wisp or some other nefarious trick of the eyes. You awake the next morning with a mouth full of sand. You are waterlogged, exhausted, and you have an aching pain that lets you know you are very much alive. The ship is so much kindling, there is no sign of the crew, but there do appear to be footprints in the sand. I'm sort of surprised that they haven't fixed the speed that X moves in. Like, the common sense would be that the dialogue or the audio basically ends uh, when the scroll ends. So why the fuck is the text scroll so much faster? Doesn't really matter since you can just go back to it, but uh, I, I just don't get why it has to be so out of sync. Because it's, it's too fast for you to necessarily even read through comfortably. I move today time. But I'll leave things here. So we'll solve the mystery of the werewolf island.
There's not that much to do here. I suppose you can waste your time talking to a lot of irrelevant people. That's about it. Uh, we have enough levels and capabilities we should be able to tackle the challenges without too much fuss. And Milos and Nira will probably get a little bit. Which, ooh, uh, for Milos that's actually quite important because uh, fourth level spells. I'm more or less just interested in what the hell do I even get. I haven't been so all that impressed so far. Spirit fire. As a shaman casts this spell, energy is gathered together from the spirit world and, and form a pale blue spear. Shaman can throw the spear so that it explodes into a burst of ghostly azure flames, which deliver 1d4 points of magic damage per level of the shaman. It's a 30 feet fireball attack, basically. A weak fireball attack. There is also a 33% chance that every enemy within the area of effect will all be affected by the Doom spell. Okay, that's good. Does it actually only affect enemies? Bebop affects enemies, at least. Enemies only. A successful save versus spell halves the damage negates the Doom effect. Spirits, fake creatures, elementals, and spectral undead take double damage. So, yeah, spirits and spectral undead, a creatures, elementals, and yeah, that's a very specific item, uh, enemy group there. But, holy hell, a useful spell in certain situations. NDA, yeah, it's uh, like uh, empowered fireball. Against uh, those type of creatures, and it still has to be buff effect. Um, I just need to basically make sure it uh, will it affect our own guys. I would assume yes, but yeah, better test it. Casting time four, so that's actually quite uh, good on um, the druid or divine spell caster, but usually it's something like nine. But yeah, holy crap! Genuinely useful spell.